Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to week eight. Um, week eight is February the 27th through March the 5th. And you can see it says assessment and review. And if you read down here, there's no learning objectives for this week. This week is reserved for assessing your comprehension of the material covered in chapter five. All assignments for this week are due by the end of the day, uh, March the 2nd, 2017. So just remember, you've got to turn everything in by the 2nd of March. Um, there's no instructor videos for this week, but I still want you to post in the per class participation forum. Just open it up and then click on class participation and um, click reply and post here any questions or concerns you have about the material covered last week um, or any weeks prior to. Um, and then you go back out. And then um, what you have to do this week is simply test three, which is in my language lab. So we'll go ahead and go into my language labs. You can click that link and it'll take you there. Okay, so when you're in my language labs, you'll click on the, um, I'm, in, I'm doing this video in February, so I had to go at the top and switch over to March, click on the second. And all that should pop up is chapter, um, test three, chapter five. So then you open it when you're ready to take it. Okay, and it tells you up here, you've got two hours in which to complete it. So the first section asks you, what objects do you typically use to get ready in the morning? Label each of the numbered items. Be sure to include the definite article L or law in your answer. So various items um, are being pointed to, like shaving cream, a comb, a razor, soap, um, makeup, and then you will just list what those items are here in Spanish. And then you'll go to the next page. And on the next page, it says, what items do these people use in the morning? And so you'll read the sentence says, los niños se lavan las manos con, and then you'd pick, well, what would they do that with? Um, and you'd plug the answer in here. And then when you're done, turn the page. Um, here it says, can you identify the following parts of the daily routine? Look carefully at each picture and select the phrase that best it, uh, describes it. So you'll just look at the picture, and these are the pictures that um, were in the video that I showed you, so you can go back and look at the video. And you'll just pick which, you know, is this boy, is it peinarse, acostarse, bañarse? Here, is this cepillarse, um, los dientes, cepillarse el pelo, or bañarse? And so you just click the, vo the verb that represents what the person is doing here, and that's all you have to do. And then you turn the page, and here you're going to listen to a description of the a morning routine for La Familia Chavez, and then you're going to decide whether the statements below are true or false or not mentioned based upon what you hear. So you'll click that audio. La Familia Chavez vive en Managua. And you'll listen to the whole thing and then answer those questions. Then you'll turn the page. Um, here you're going to, it says, conjugar verbos reflexivos. So complete the sentence of the logical verb, um, the logical reflexive verb, and be sure to use the appropriate form of the verb corresponding and corresponding reflexive pronoun. So you'll decide whether you want to use acostarse, dormirse, levantarse, sepiarse. So you'll plug it in, and then you'll have to conjugate the verb to match the subject. So this, the ending of the verb, you'll add an O, an AS, an A, or an O, an ES, an E, etc dependent on who it is that's doing the brushing, the waking up, et cetera. Then your reflexive pronoun, if, the, if it's a conjugated verb, the reflexive pronoun needs to come in front and it needs to match your subject as well. Because remember with reflexives, um, the person who's doing the brushing of teeth is the same as the person whose teeth are being brushed. So your subject and your object are the same person. Okay, so then you turn the page. Um, here, los quehaceres y los accesorios. Complete each sentence with the appropriate household chore or item. So you're just looking at Chapter 5's vocabulary. This would be the second set of vocabulary, and you're plugging in either the item or the activity. Um, remember that if there is an article, like an L or a law before the sentence, it should be um, more than likely an item because you need a noun that goes there instead of a verb. So be careful of that. 
Uh, lo máximo, choose the word that best completes each superlative statement. You're doing a superlative here, and so pieces are missing. You plug in whatever is needed to make the superlative. Um, remember that we have comparatives, um, comparatives of equal things, and remember that comparatives um, do not, uh, comparatives of equal things do not get used when making superlatives. So you want to review what, what words get used when making superlatives. And then you'll turn the page. Okay. okay. Um, so what do these people do at different times during the day? Match each sentence fragment with the phrase that best completes it. So a las nueve de la mañana los estudiantes de química están... What are they doing? Okay. Um, and this is where you're using your present progressive, but the um, present participle has already been given to you as well as the rest of the sentence. So you just pick which one is needed to complete the sentence. Then turn the page or go to page nine. Um, here you're doing a comparison again. It says, Donde vivir? Read the descriptions of the three houses for rent in Costa Rica. Then based on the information provided, Write the words that guess best complete each comparative sentence. So this is telling you about una casa en las pillas, los condimenios Buena Vista, los apartamentos Petunia, and then finish up. These are statements about these houses comparing one living, um, one living situation with another, and you just fill in the words um, to make comparisons. So this is where you can use tan, como, tantos, como, más, menos, um, all of those would be used here. So then turn the page. Um, here is where you, um, it says, Rosa and her roommates, Dora y Clara, have been neglecting their chores for a couple of weeks and need to clean their apartment. Complete their conversation with the correct form of the logical verbs from the word bank. You may use each verb only once. So you pick the word from the word bank and then you need to conjugate it correctly to complete the sentence. Then you turn the page. Um, complete the following sentences by conjugating a verb from the word bank in the present progressive. So remember with, um, with these, you're only using one ver each verb once. All of these will be put into the present participle form, like the ando yendo form, and then you will need a form of a star that goes in front of them, okay? Um, and the star gets conjugated for the subject. That's how you form your present progressive. And so when you're done, you just hit finish and submit for grading.